one. All right, in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve a multi-step equation with variables on both sides. The first thing I need to do is realize there's variables on both sides and put a line down the middle so I can identify almost as if it's a fence, the right side and the left side. I'm gonna look at each side individually and I can definitely see that on one side there's gonna be some distributing and combining uh, like terms. So on this side, it looks like I have to clean it up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is distribute the three So that's going to give me 3 plus 3 times x is 3x, and then I'm going to write plus uh, 21. Uh. Remember, we have to see this minus 7 as a negative 7, so 3 times negative 7 is going to be, I'll fix it here, a negative or minus 21. On the right side, I'm just going to rewrite what I had because there's no combining like terms and there's no distributive property. Plus six x. All right. The next step I need to do is still on the left side, I need to combine some like terms. So the like terms that I see, I have a negative 21 and I have a positive 3. When I combine those, negative 21 plus 3 is going to be, uh, there's more negatives, negative 18 <laughs> equals negative 9 plus 6x. All right, so now the next step, I have everything kind of cleaned up. I need to now decide which one's my variable term side and which one's my constant term side. But to do that, I have to look at my uh, variable terms. On this side, I have a positive 3x. And on this side, I have uh, a positive 6x. To decide which one's the variable terms, I look for the one that's bigger. In this case, the 6x is bigger, so I'm going to write variable terms here, constant terms here. So I need to bring this variable term to the constant term side. So I have to get rid of this 3x by doing minus 3x on both sides. And that's going to give me negative 18 equals negative 9, and then 6x plus 3x is going to be plus, um, 6x minus 3x is going to be plus 3x. I'm going to continue my fence, and now I'm just left with a two-step equation. It's, a, as we called in class, a backwards weirdo. So I have to get rid of this negative 9 by adding 9 to both sides, adding 9 to both sides here. Uh, this is going to cancel out. I'm left with 3x uh, equals subtract nine, 18 minus 9. I'm left with 9. There's more negatives. And then the last step is to divide each side by 3. Divide by 3. And I'm left with x equals negative 3. And that, and that makes me very happy. Whoa.